Hi everyone, this is Paul Morian and you are watching Where's the Bus? Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Dante Ramos and we're in Where the Buzz. And in Where the Buzz today, we have Netflix's Who Killed Sarah actor Polo Morin. How are you today? Hi everyone, so excited to be with you guys. I'm so excited too. I'm going to jump right into it. My first question is, we see in season two, actually even in season one, that Sarah has many sides to her. Do you ever feel that there are sides to yourself, Polo, that you may not share with other people? Well, I think everybody has those kind of sides. Maybe not um, clinically the way Sarah does. Hopefully I don't. Well, I'm pretty sure I don't because I do go to the doctor very often and I know I, I know I don't. But I think there are, it is sane to keep sides to yourself. Right. Every time I get mad or like really mad about something, I, I like breathe and keep it to myself and then maybe I don't react about it. Right. I always say there's layers to people. So 100% yes. agree with that. Um, yeah. I feel like Chema is being truly tested in season two. How did you feel about... Cheme being kind of more of like the highlight of season two. So much is happening to you as Jose Maria. Yeah, I thought it was really sad. When I read the end, I was like, oh, this is the end of Jose Maria. <laughs> I was so bummed. But once again, um, El Chascas, who is a writer, who is a genius, always has a reason for everything. So whenever I, I think like I don't understand the show, I know there's a reason to it. So um, I think it's a very charming character. I love Jose Maria. From the moment I read it, I knew I wanted to play it. And uh, I think it's a huge responsibility also because it represents a lot um, and part of the community uh, that feels identified is really happy about this character because it's one of the first times that a gay character is represented in that way, being the family guy, the married guy, the um wanting to adopt guy and uh is a pretty sweet character yeah not only sweet but he's strong like he shows really that strong, yeah. yeah like not only is jose maria i would say all those uh, great qualities as you said being represented but he is showing that he's very much a family man and like there for his family or the people he truly believes in or and wants to support and um, speaking of brotherhood and family, Rodolfo tells Jose Maria that everyone that comes in contact with your family gets hurt because they're monsters. And we see that it's even affecting your relationship with Lorenzo. Do you mm-hmm. think that Jose's relationship throughout the season, for the people who have not seen it yet, who still have to see, do you feel like Jose Maria and Lorenzo will maybe make it out? Uh, I cannot answer that question without spoiling it to people because uh, the, there's a there's a reason for it to be impossible. Mm. And I can't. But if I if I if I answer this question, I spoil the second season for everyone. So. Ah, true. Okay, so we'll leave it at that because they have to watch. Everyone who's watching yeah. the interview will have to watch season two. Yeah. I love it. If you had to take a guess. And you're not the actor in uh, Who Killed Sarah. If you were just a viewer watching the show, who do you think you would be guessing is the murderer of Who Killed Sarah? I always thought from the beginning, I thought it was my mom. I thought it was Mariana from the beginning. I don't know why, because I read the character. And then uh, when we were doing uh, all the um, work and I saw the actress reading the part, I was like, it was her. But uh, that was my guess. And I was I think I was wrong. Wow. Maybe I was wrong. I don't, we still don't know, but maybe. Yeah, we, I, still, I we still don't know. I thought, honestly, that I was going straight for the dad. I was going straight for your father, thinking that he was the I master. thought so, too, at the beginning, but then I thought it was pretty obvious. And I know the, the, the writer is really smart and, like, really complicated. And the dad was, like, the obvious answer, I thought. Right. Because he's really bad and he's really mean. And he's, like, it was the obvious answer, I thought. Exactly. And speaking of the father, we see that Elisa is kind of being open to this new found history of her father and her family. Um, How do you feel, Polo, as you being Jose Maria, being an older brother, having to like break break down this story to your younger sister and her coming to realization that her family may not be the best? Well, um, 
my character of the, and the older version is played by Eugenio Siller, who, who um, does his parts. But we did talk about it a lot because I do I do play scenes with the younger version of Elisa, who is a baby in my in my time zone. Um, and I thought it was really important in my, in my scenes personally to m make it seem like they have a special bond. Because they do, because it's as an older brother, you try to protect your sister or brothers or younger siblings from all the mean things that are out there in the world. But of course, you cannot. So I think uh, Jose Maria always tries to protect Elisa and everybody else around him. But it is impossible for him because he's not a superhero, even though he does think he is sometimes. So he tries to be. Right. And one thing that your parents say in the film, uh, in the show so much that I picked up on is it's family over e everything for them. Um, do you feel that it's still family over everything, even if your family may not be good? I do think it's true, but I do not think that family is blood. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do get to pick your family. That's what I think, because uh, in real life, there are all sorts of different families And you do pick your families and the, the family that you pick and that shows that is your family. I do think it's family above all. I love that response. And my last question for you is, can we get any season three type of spoilers or is there a season three coming out? Do we know of that yet? I really, really, really wish I could tell you something about that, but I don't, I, I don't even know myself. So If you have any information that you can share with me, I would love that too. Because <laughs> I've been asking about it for a long time now. All I'm going to say is I pray that you guys get season three because I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. Thank you so much. Hopefully we will. Hopefully we will be talking about it in a couple of months or hopefully sooner. Me oh. too. Thank you so much, Polo, for your time. Um, amazing acting. And I just can't wait to see what we see you in next. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time and everything. Of course. Where is the buzz? Oh, yeah. Where is the buzz? You said we used to be the same. Oh, where is the buzz?